Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? From SlideNerd, this is Vivs over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make scroll tabs in Android. So let's first begin our discussion with the two major types of tabs that we have. One of them is the swipe tab. Now when you have a swipe tab, what you basically have is you click on tab 2, it will take you to the content of tab 2. Even otherwise, if you swipe your screen towards the right side, it will still jump from tab 1 to tab 2 and that is the reason why it's called a swipe tab. Now make sure that you have only few of those tabs when you're using swipe tab. The reason is the widest tab that you see is based on the width of one of the strings out here. On the other hand, what you have here on the right side is known as a scroll tab. The other string that belongs to the adjacent tab is partly displayed over here. If there is no other tab, then there is nothing that is displayed over here. So in this video, we are going to see exactly how to make this kind of tab in our Android app that uses fragments. So remember, a scroll tab on the other hand can have a large number of items and you can simply swipe through the right of the screen to switch from one tab to the other. So what are the different steps involved in creating a scroll tab? Step 1. Define the number of pages that you want to have. So in my case, I have three pages, fragment A, fragment B, fragment C. In other words, I'll have to create three classes that represent the three pages and I'll have to create three separate layouts for each of these pages, right? Step two, create something called a view pager. A view pager is just like a list view. It takes the data or you can say it takes the view and displays them one at a time and handles switching between those different views with the help of an adapter just like your list view does. So remember, a view pager is a layout manager where each child is a separate page. It uses an implementation of pager adapter to switch between pages. Now if you are using fragments here, there are two types of pager adapters. One is a fragment state pager adapter, the other one is a fragment pager adapter. Now we'll be discussing about the difference between these two things at a very very high level in the next video when I actually show you guys the working example of a scroll tab. But for now, let me just give you guys an overview of what is the difference between both the tabs. And by the way, this is how the view pager looks. It should be the root layout because it is more like a container. And then you simply have the width as match parent and the height as match parent to occupy the entire screen space. And also notice there is an XMLS Android attribute. The reason is this is the root layout. There is no relative layout or linear layout within which the view pager is being placed. So what is the difference between the fragment state pager adapter and the fragment pager adapter? Now for the fragment pager adapter, use it when you have a small fixed number of pages. What happens when you switch between fragments? Each fragment is kept as an object associated with the activity but its UI is completely destroyed. Now don't worry if you guys are not sure about this process. In the next video when I show you guys the working example, I will show you exactly what happens in the life cycle of a fragment when we use a fragment pager adapter and when we use a fragment state pager adapter so that you guys can clearly see the difference between both the adapters. Now here the second adapter that we have, use it when you have a large number of pages because here the entire fragment may be destroyed by your activity or the view pager and its on save instance state is called but remember in the first one the on save instance state is not called and I will prove that in the next video as I mentioned earlier. So now the third step after deciding which adapter you want to use whether it's the state pager or it's the pager you simply implement certain methods one of them being get item this returns the given fragment at a position for example it works just like the list view if you guys remember in the list view you used to say show me the data at position 0 and then it used to draw that item and then there was position 1, position 2 and so on. The same way here the view pager tells the adapter show me the page at position 0, position 1, position 2 through this get item method and then there's the get count method that returns the total number of pages or fragments. Now if you guys remember in our case we have only three fragments or three pages so in the get count method, we are expected to return the number as 3 because this is again used by the view pager as I will show you guys in the next video. And then last but not the least, at this point you can simply swipe between the different pages because the adapter has been implemented. But 
what you want to show the user is where is he currently located and that can be done with the help of this pager title strip which is a small XML tag that goes inside your view pager here you simply give the ID as something if you want width maybe match pattern height as wrap content maybe the gravity as maybe top bottom or whatever or center and if this is how it looks you see this little gray colored strip over here at the top and that is what this pager title strip is all about it shows the current tab and it also shows the adjacent tab in a dimmed version so that the user can switch from tab 1 to tab 2 and of course if there is no tab on the left or the right it's empty over here just the same way as you guys see over here so now that we guys have discussed the concept about the scroll tab from a high level in the next video we are going to jump inside android studio and find out how to implement the view pager using a fragment pager adapter and a fragment state pager adapter and also the clear differences between both those adapters in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below like this video share this video and i'll see you guys later have a nice day